In a previous video, we looked at layers in the state machine. In this video, we'll look at how the layer order affects different animations that share the same properties. Typically, you won't have to worry about this, but it's still good information to know. In this case, we have two different animations. One's called up and another one's called down. They're not really even animations. We've really just defined a position in which in the up animation, our square is up. And in the down animation, we have the square position in the down position. If we go to the state machine, you'll see that right now we have the up animation put into our first layer. So let's go ahead and rename this layer and call it up. And if we play the animation, you'll see that our rectangle is in the up position. Now, if we go into the state machine and change the animation that's on our node from the up animation to the down animation, and then restart the state machine, you'll see that the square is now positioned at the bottom. Now let's go back and change this animation back to the up animation. And let's mix some animations together. So let's go ahead and add a new layer and call it down, and then drag the down animation onto the graph and hook it up with a transition. Now, if you remember, both of these animations share the same property. In this case, it's the Y property. So we're using the Y property to set the up position at 75, and the down position at 425. Now, if we go to the state machine and we play the state machine, let's see what actually happens. You'll see that the uh, rectangle actually goes into the down position. And that's because the layer to the right takes priority over the layer to the left. And in this case, our down animations to the right. Now we can change the order of our layers by clicking and dragging. You can see that um, as we drag this layer to the left, we get this little blue line. And now if we play it again, our animation is, uh, or our square is in the up position. And that's because once again, the up animation is now to the right and it's taking priority over the one to the left. So this will be something that you'll need to check if you see something out of place. It's a good possibility that you have conflicting keys and um, you need to check your layer order to make sure that they're in the right position. This is something that you'll need to know as we get into more complex state machines. Now let's look at another example where we have multiple keys. So in this animation, we've got two timelines, one that moves the square from the left to the right and another that moves from right to left. Now in our state machine, we have both of our animations added. You can see that we've added a little arrow here to indicate the direction that the layer is actually moving a rectangle. Now, if we play the state machine, you'll see that once again, the layer on the right is going to take priority. So we're actually moving to the right here. And then if we go ahead and stop the state machine and change the order, it's now going to move from right to left. So now that you know about layer priority, keep it in mind as you build out your state machines.